here's a little prepper homesteading tip for you. Uh, a lot of people are telling me, Gene, with these mag lights, you can take the top off, flip it over, and use that as a base, as a candlestick holder. The problem that I have with this idea is it is so bright, it, it's annoying. The other problem with it is you're putting your glass, say you're outside camping or you're, you know, you could be putting that in sand or you're going to scratch your lens. What I did was I had a short cutoff piece of 2x4 and I just set my fence on my table saw for 2 inches and I ripped it down it. and then I cut 2 inch cubes out of it. And then I uh, just knocked the edges off. I drew an X on the back, okay? And in the center of the X is the center of my cube. And I used a three quarter inch Forstner bit. That's a flat bottom drill. And I drilled it out, stained it cherry, and put two coats of polyurethane. Now, I did a few of them, okay? They're free. I mean, they cost you no money and yet they are super handy to have. You can set these around your house in a blackout and you know have one in the bathroom, one in the hallway, two or three in the living room. You could set one up on a table and play cards or uh, you know board games. They are super convenient. I had set up quite a few of these at night for you to see, but with the iris on the camera, I can't get a good lighting shot with these. But two in a large living room will light up that house. One on a table, and the LEDs are so super efficient. What you could do is burn them for eight to ten hours. The next day, you could be uh, recharging them when the power comes on or the next couple of days if you have a few batteries. This is a real opportunity to have lighting in a down, down grid situation for quite some time with extra batteries. It, it's certainly worth looking into. I'm, I'm highly behind this idea.